as we've told you here on Fox 55, a Parkview Hospital opening up a brand new facility in Wabash, but the old building still getting some use. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor went through some training scenarios today and has more. Old signs are gone and new signs are up at the old Parkview Wabash facility. But if you were to walk through the halls this week, shots fired on the second and third floor, you'll notice they aren't quite empty. The Parkview's made a big commitment to the safety and security of all of our facilities. We want to make sure that we're providing a safe and secure environment of care so our clinical folks can focus on delivering excellent health care to our patients. The Parkview Wabash campus is hosting a multi-agency, multi-purpose training this week organized by the Parkview Health Police, a first-of-its-kind agency in the state. And every part of the facility is being used to the parking lot behind us for driver training and the building where burglars and potential active shooters exist. Trust me when I say the training scenarios are at full speed. And even though the bullets are fake, the adrenaline is very much real. Parkview Health Police Training Captain Matt Daughtry has been working on the training for six months and is pleased with the results thus far. We're located in so many different areas that uh, it's important that our guys understand how to work directly with other departments. So it's gone really well. Been really happy with how all that's worked out. And he says a pivotal part of the training you can pin them down in a room. is the debriefing. The important part is when you're done with that training, you get it together and you really discuss, okay, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? What are some different things we could do in this situation? Can you pull back out, wait for a response from SWAT? Maybe you get to barricade a subject. The hospital will continue to be used as training grounds for as long as possible. We think by, by giving local officers this additional training on how to respond to emergency situations, that ultimately we're fulfilling the mission by making all of our communities safer. In Wabash, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News.